Welcome to the morning coffee with Father Jerry. Our text for today is from Matthew chapter 9 verses 14 to 17. Then John's disciples came and asked him, How is it? that we and the Pharisees fast often, but your disciples do not fast. Jesus answered him, How can the guests of the bridegroom mourn when he is with them? The time will come when the bridegroom will be taken from them, then they will fast. No one sews a patch of unshrunk clothes on an old garment, for the patch will pull away from the garment, making the tear worse. Neither do people pour new wine into an old wineskins. If they do, skins will burst. The wine will run out and the wineskins will be ruined. No, they pour new wine into new wineskins and both are preserved. Thus far is the reading for today's reflection. What is it for us? What is God's message for us through this gospel today? If Jesus is with you, how can you feel sad, mourn, and be gloomy? With him, the world shines with joy. Faith becomes strong, hope revives, and love is renewed. That is why his disciples could not fast, because Jesus was still with them. They cling to the presence of Jesus at the moment. Their spirituality is permeated with joy. If you have Christ and still insist in living a miserable life, Perhaps you need to discern whether it is really Christ who is in you or something or someone else is in you. Because you cannot be mourned, you cannot be sad, you cannot be gloomy if you really feel the presence of Christ in your life right at the moment. So, because you feel the presence of God, His companionship in your life every day, no need for you to be sad. All you need to do is to be happy, joy joyful, and be rejoicing. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Why? Because God and His presence is in you. Because Jesus is and His presence is within your life. If you have Jesus in your life, be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Diba? Yan ang sinasabi ng isang kanta. So don't worry. Be happy. Pero there, there will be time or time will come for you to fast and time will come for you to be in sorrow. But if Jesus is alive and kicking in your life, you need not be sad and gloomy. Joy is the hallmark of God's presence in our lives. What kind of fasting is pleasing to God? Fasting can be done for a variety of reasons. To gain freedom from some bad habit, a kind of addiction or vice, suffering of others and those who wanted to grow in our hunger for God and for the things of heaven. Basil 
one of the early fathers of the church, Basil the Great, wrote, Take heed that you do not make fasting to consist only in abstinence from meats. True fasting is to refrain from vice and those occasion to commit sin. Pardon your neighbors. Forgive them their trespasses. Do you hunger to know God more, to grow in His holiness, and to live in the abundant life of grace He offers you? Our challenge for today is to reflect into ourselves. If truly Christ is our life today, why do you still feel miserable in your life? If you think that God is among us, why do you think that, why is the reason why we are into conflict everywhere in the world today? If you think that Christ is, Christ is present in our lives and in our community and in our relationship today, why the competition? Why we turn down and reject the other and praise only ourselves? Sabi ko nga, the term is, why do you need to be, why do we feel miserable in our life today? That is why, ang sunod kong tanong, maybe there's a need for us to reflect. Is it really Jesus? who is really present in our life today or the image of money and money matter is the real presence <laughs> intertwining into our lives today. Let us ask or confront the question in the perspective of reality because those questions are very important for us today. With all honesty, if really Jesus and His presence is truly is in our midst or is in our life, inwardly and outwardly today, because if not, look at our world today. We are in crisis. We are in terrible, terrible. A miserable state. And then we only feel the presence of God when we are inside our churches, when we are alone inwardly within ourselves. Diba, if God is truly present within us, diba dapat there's a need for us to share the presence of Christ to one another, to our neighbors, to our community, but I think there's a need for us to really rediscover Jesus once again in our lives. Today, underline today. Are you hungry for God? Hungry for God and fasting for His kingdom go hand in hand. When asked why He and His disciples did not fast, Jesus used the vivid picture of a wedding celebration. In Jesus' time, the newlywed celebrated their honeymoon at home for the whole week with all the guests present. This was a time of great feast and a memorable celebration. Jesus points to himself as the bridegroom and his disciples as the bridegroom's friends. He alludes to the fact that God takes delight in his people as a groom delights in the presence of his bride. When Christ is with you, we should be happy, we should be joyful. But when he is absent, yes, that's the question in our lives today. Okay, let us pray. Come, Lord Jesus, work upon us, set us on fire, and hold us close to your heart. Be fragrant to us, draw us to your loveliness, and let us love and let us run to you. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Okay? So, paano ito mga kapatid? 
Magandang umaga ulit. Don't forget to finish your coffee. Okay? See you on Monday.